What do cleaning and cancer have in common? More than you think, the program helping to give women a fresh outlook on life. Next, the local cancer patient who says decluttering helped her beat the disease. We're also going to have that Halloween forecast. Oh, yeah, that a lot and of people that anticipating. Too. Absolutely. And now we have this. This is a great story. Anybody who's been affected by cancer, they know how important it is to have all kinds of support. Yeah, and Breast Cancer Awareness Month may be wrapping up, but a network of housekeepers are making a difference for women battling the disease every day. When you're first diagnosed with cancer, August 26, 2013. A lot of thoughts run through your head. That it couldn't have been true, that I probably needed a second opinion, that um, I it was shocked. And I think it probably hit when I phoned and told my husband. But keeping the house clean isn't always one of them. Their lives are in a little bit of an uproar. Uh, probably the last thing they're thinking about is many times is is just maintaining their homes. That's where Cleaning for a Reason comes in. The nonprofit group partners with local house cleaning companies nationwide to offer free maid service for women undergoing cancer treatments. Women like Kim Marie Starin. Chemo wipes you out, the radiation wipes you out. I mean, there was at one point that I got to that I just, I couldn't even go. I was, I called my doctor, I said, I can't come today. And it, mine was five days straight every single week for five weeks. They give us the opportunity to donate up to four free cleanings to women who are in that situation. Paul Needleman owns Cleanology, a local cleaning agency out of San Diego. Through the Cleaning for a Reason program, his housekeepers have helped more than 60 people enjoy a fresh outlook on life. Now the program is only open to women, but the entire process is pretty simple. First, you register on the Cleaning for a Reason website. Then the organization will contact one of the local cleaning companies in your area. Those are the pink ribbons that you see here on your screen. And then one of those local companies will contact you to set up a free service. There's nothing like coming home to a fresh home and feeling that. It just really is um, so worthwhile. A feeling Kim Marie knows is about more than just disinfecting and dusting. It's peace of mind. It, it just really is. If you're in a lot of chaos and clutter and things like that and just stuff is, is around you is messy, you're, you're not, to me anyway, you're, you're not able to focus on what you really need to focus on, which is your health. Today, her cancer is in remission, thanks to a team of doctors and perhaps a team of housekeepers. They still come to my house today. Willing to wash away whatever cancer leaves behind. Physically, mentally, emotionally, they're so down, and for them to, to come and, and offer this is just a wonderful thing. Wow, that was a great story on so many levels. <laughs> I love it. It means so much to so many of those women too. And yes. I think you always think of the doctors and the and the you know the medical right. staff that help, but there are you know people every day that are, are willing to step up. Absolutely, and I've never heard a patient say that decluttering helped her fight disease, but she truly believes that it played a role. The clean so. environment really helps. Yeah, she says. Clean my uh, house. And since 2006, we learned maid services have volunteered their time to clean for more than 17,000 women nationwide. And we've posted a link to cleaning for a reason and some other free services for cancer patients. Just go to 10news.com and click on the red TV button. It is all there.